Betty McCoy. Betty McCoy is the founding executive director of Girl Child Network Zimbabwe and chief executive officer of Girl Child Network Worldwide, an organization that champions the rights of the girl child in Zimbabwe, Uganda, Sierra Leone, South Africa, USA, United Kingdom, and world over. She is the holder of two Bachelor of Arts Honors degrees from the University of Zimbabwe. Betty McCoy developed the Girl Child Empowerment Model as a result of childhood tragic circumstances from her home country in Zimbabwe. We can put a full stop to stop violations against the girls. We can build platforms for them to grow into women with full potential. This is something we can do. And join me, please. I thank you. The Girl Child Network empowers the girl child to be educated in a chosen vocation to fulfill her dreams. The program has inspired millions around the world and has now been replicated in several countries in Europe and Africa. Besides her work with Girl Child Network Worldwide and building many Girl Child Networks in Africa, Betty is now a mentor, coach, and trainer for women and girls who now want to do similar work as a preventative measure for girls at risk of sexual abuse. Betty was recently selected to be on UP Team of Experts on Preventing Sexual Violence. From 1999 to date, Betty McConey has mobilized financial resources to build four girls empowerment villages, a unique model that provides safe shelter and healing for those abused. Newsweek magazine named Betty as one of the 150 women who impact the world, alongside U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and Honorary Decade Child Right Hero Awards in 2011, that Betty McCormey received alongside President Nelson Mandela, who won the award. Realizing the great contribution Betty McCormey has made in Zimbabwe to the development of future women and girls, she received the coveted United Nations Red Ribbon Award. Janita Sagan, Amnesty International Award, Zimbabwe National and Contribution Award, and she has been chosen as one of the 10 outstanding young people in the world by Junior Chamber International. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you a woman of strength, Lady Betty McCombie. Mary Ann Chambers. Mary Ann Chambers served as Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities in the Ontario Government after being elected a Member of Provincial Parliament for the riding of Scarborough East from 2003 to 2007. Through her leadership, she increased students' ability to complete their education without undue financial hardship and opened doors for financially trained individuals. As Minister of Children and Youth Services, Chambers advocated for the protection of children and youth and spearheaded a number of innovative reform initiatives. Before entering politics, Chambers worked in the private sector serving as Senior Vice President of Scotia Bank. Now, the incoming President of PACE, Project for Advancement of Childhood Education, Chambers is also involved in primary schools in Jamaica, from which she emigrated in 1976. She is also a member of the boards of the YMCA of the Greater Toronto Area and the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, and former board member of the Rouge Valley Health System and University of Toronto's Governing Council, on which she served as Vice Chair from 1998 to 2001. Chambers is also past chair of the United Way of Greater Toronto and former president of the Canadian Club. She was recently named a YMCA Woman of Distinction for Community Service. The philanthropic efforts of Chambers have made a positive impact on the lives of many students at all levels of education. Viserino once said, she has funded more than 30 scholarships for first-year students at Canadian universities and colleges. She has served as a role model for the Black community in Canada, recipient of 17 different awards, citations, and honours. At UTSC, Chambers funds the Imani Mentorship Program for middle and high school students. In partnership with the Imani Black Students Alliance and the Boys and Girls Club of East Scarborough. While serving as a governor of the university on student financial support, contributing to a policy that guarantees no student will be unable to study at the University of Toronto due to inadequate financial resources. As of 2011, Mary Ann has personally funded the education of more than 30 students attending Ontario universities and colleges by awarding scholarships to them. She also continues to sponsor early childhood institutions in Jamaica. 
the country of her birth. She sponsors students and serves as an advisor for an academic mentorship program for middle and high school students in partnership with the University of Toronto at Scarborough. And I present to you Mary Ann Chambers.